let's talk about QuickBooks Online and AI. And really, let's talk about the software itself before we even get into AI. Every time this software has updated in the past, I don't know, I've been using it extensively for over 10 years now. Every time it updates something, it seems to break something or it seems to make things just a little bit worse. Uh, and then you get used to it and then it's like, and usually these are UI changes, honestly. There haven't been like any monumental breaking things, but it's just not a fun software to use. And yet we're all still using it. <laughs> Why? Maybe this is user error. Anyway, uh, I logged in uh, today and saw this screen. Welcome to accounting with AI as I went to my bank transactions uh, to go through and just categorize a few things. And my first thought, my first thought is, hey, QuickBooks, you don't even get the auto match function right half the time. So when you're reconciling or you're just matching transactions up, half the time I've got to manually select a matching pair, like we're talking two or three transactions, not a bunch of them, to match up to a certain amount. Like simple arithmetic stuff that should be should be very easy. It's easy for me to do it. Uh, why can the computer not do it? Uh, so either one of two things. One, this is going to be an absolute slop of a mess. And we'll go through what is actually written here in just a second. Or two, this is going to be real good. And we are going to get what we've needed for a long time inside of QuickBooks, which is some actual intelligence. Who cares if it's artificial? Um, so here's what's happening. Welcome to AI or welcome to accounting with AI. So let's learn about this stuff. We got these graphics down here. So first up, we've got access, AI powered suggestions, get control and accuracy you need in less time than ever. Predicts details for your transactions. Okay, so this is the same thing that it's been doing all along. Perhaps this will be the upgrade that we need. Perhaps, perhaps. All right, uh, then we've got say goodbye to guesswork. Okay. QuickBooks uses AI to help connect related transactions so you don't have to search or guess what payments were for. Isn't this the same thing? That just reads like the same thing. This is basically, they are bringing in AI to do what it cannot do right now, I think, uh, which is good. I mean, that's a net positive because it sucks right now. Streamline your workflow, customize the information you want front and center. Now you can finish your bookkeeping with more speed and get what you need at a glance. Uh, that's, that's just blah, blah, blah to me, right? All right, meet your AI accountant agent here to help with powerful AI features available with QuickBooks Online Essentials Plus and Advanced. Uh, I don't even know. I mean, what's the deal with uh, plans these days? I don't even know what we have. I think we've got Plus. We may have Advanced uh, for our small business. Uh, this is, they're probably, they're just rolling, rolling in the dough. See what's ready to post. Ever wonder what you can get done right away? When you sign in, you'll see transactions that have best data-backed predictions ready for you. So this is the same, yes, this is the same stuff that we have been used to that it, you know, at least for me, it hasn't worked great so far. It's really struggled to just match simple things up efficiently get info from your team using AI. Okay, sometimes you need more info on what transactions were for. Now you can get the answers you need from your team directly in QuickBooks. Okay, so we never have to leave QuickBooks. So just stay insane inside this software. This helps reduce back and forth conversations. Yeah, that's not gonna be something I ever use. Uh, frequently asked questions. Where are my AI suggestions? So let's open this up. When QuickBooks has enough info to go on, it makes suggestions to help you decide how to manage a transaction. So it needs to learn on our previous data, I guess. I wonder if it's already being pre-trained on it or if that's something that we have to opt into or something going forward. I don't know. Wherever QuickBooks has a suggestion, you'll see suggested by AI. That's good, at least, I guess. Suggestions improve over time, so keep going even if you don't see many at first. 
as QuickBooks learns how to do things. Okay, so it's going to learn over time. How do AI suggestions work? Well, first of all, see how these drop-down menus don't work. This is the this is the user interface stuff I was talking about. I've had to click both of those two times for it to pop open. Like very basic web design uh, things don't work well in QuickBooks. Uh, when you have pending bank transactions, it's going to suggest matches or categories. It does that already based on past work and transaction details. So perhaps it's going to, and this might be the case or the place where it makes a difference going forward, perhaps it's going to be able to be trained on what we do rather than right now. It doesn't appear to get any smarter over time. It's just dumb all along. If there are no matches, it'll try to help categorize. Yeah, same thing as always on. So hopefully there will be AI intelligence underneath the hood now. Look, oh, these drop down lists still don't work. Why do I have to click that twice? <clears throat> How do you match transactions? This is the same as always, but it's just got this new icon, right? Is there any difference between this and the way it's always been except for that icon? What is matching? Okay, this is pretty common sense stuff there. How do you categorize? So let's click the drop down twice rule and pair badges. So if it's based on a rule, if you've created rules, which that's the way a lot of mine, um, I've had to create rules in the past because of how bad the matching system has been. So I've just dictated it. And even that has broken before. It's been a, it's been about two or three years though, since the rules have broken, but there was a period of time and this may have been pre-COVID, it may have been five plus years ago, but there was a period of time where I had rules that had broken based on transactions. So I would have, uh, in my case, it was memo line stuff on bank transactions that I imported automatically. And if the memo line read a certain uh, string of digits or it had it down in there, it would be designated, uh, it, would, it would be classified on a certain class because it came from one store, say a deposit in this case, came from one store versus another store and I wanted to classify it as such. A, a very simple rule, like it's literally numbers. And if they match this, categorize it as this. If they match that, categorize it as that. That's broken before. I mean, that was, <laughs> that was quite, that was so, it was crazy. But it, it's fixed now. It's been working for a while. So perhaps this just makes it better, smarter. I don't know. How do you split a transaction? Okay, that's, that's not new. We've always been able to split how can you customize the table, add or remove columns? So this is just kind of basic interface stuff. How do you do things? These are not new things to do. And I'm still, I don't know if you're noticing this, but look, I'm clicking once, clicking again, clicking a third time. I'm having to click these twice to open them or three times really. Open, close, open before they actually open. What is the accounting agent? Intuit Assist is a generative AI powered financial assistant from Intuit comes with specialized agents that help complete different ty types of tasks. On the banking screen, the uh, agent will help you with two key features ready to post and request for more info. Okie doke. The accounting agent has features available to online essentials and higher versions. However, all versions get the benefit of AI assists suggestions. Okay, what's ready to post? Highest confidence transactions together. The so it's when it thinks it knows that they're ready to post, it's going to mark them with that. And then when it doesn't know for sure, it's going to request for more info. Okay. Let's go to our transactions. I'll have to blur this out, but let's just see what's going on. Do you want weekly tips on how to scale, automate, and grow your business using spreadsheets, automation tools, and AI? GotSheet is my free weekly newsletter that I created for people just like you. Subscribe below, gotsheet.xyz, link is in the description. All right. So right away, I've got some rules down here and I'm going to check them first. It looks like it looks like the rules are working properly. Class looks good here. That is, I've got the serial numbers down here in the memo line memorized because I had to do it manually so often. So yeah, that's classified. Correct. 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 Um, this needs to be matched. So this is incorrect. This is a matching situation where I need to go match something that is working like it always has. And 
that is matched correctly. So that, that screen was the normal matching screen. Here's a match suggestion, bill payment, ACH, the correct one. I just want to make sure because the screen is now different. So one problem that I have, even when things work exactly the same as they always have, one issue that I've had is that the screen is just different. The user interface has been changed so that it becomes a confusing thing for me, the end user, for a week or so as I get used to the new setup when nothing really has changed about these things that I typically click. So I, I don't like that. That's, it's, it's hard to take a big jab at them because I mean, you're going to, you're going to update the look of things. Uh, so that's, that's kind of more on me, I guess, but it is a little bit jarring when everything's in essence the same, but we've added a little bit of AI help here. Um, top suggestion. Hmm. I'll be interested if it's anything more than what we have been already used to QuickBooks Online doing. Uh, I'll be at a, a mediocre job of it, like I mentioned sometimes. So I'm, uh, I'm just a little frustrated at the changes that don't really seem to add a lot of value. In my own use case, uh, this could be potentially a time saver if it gets right some of those things that it has not been able to get right through uh, what I perceive to be very common sense stuff, like matching a transaction to another transaction or two transactions summed up together, matching to a total transaction over here. Um, am I nitpicking? Sure. But this is, I think this is the most used accounting software in the world. Is that right? I'm not looking that up, but I just kind of assume QuickBooks is still like the number one by a long shot, especially for small businesses. Our accountant firm, they recommended it to us before I even started working on the uh, business. And, you know, I've been using it, like I said, over 10, actually over, gosh, 15 years, I guess now. Um, and it's just what they use. So it's the number one player. It just feels like it should be a lot better than it is. I don't know. What do you think? Thanks for watching.